So now we're on models resource, as you can see, it's just a website full of hella game models and stuff. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to be using them, but you can research and you can see how it was built. But I got a character here, so we're gonna use this guy. I'll download it, just click it, save it into the folder that you want. I already got him, and then we're also gonna download this chocobo. I thought it was pretty cool. Sometimes most of these models already have rigs and stuff, so you don't really need Mixamo for this. But I'll just show you how to do it with Mixamo just in case your character does not have a rig. So let's get it. So now we hop back on Blender, go import, import DAE or DAW, I don't know what you pronounce it as, I don't know. So, so this one came with an armature. Like I said, some do come with armatures. It's easy if you want to just get rid of it, or you could just animate it the way it is. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Mixamo just to show y'all, so I will put him on a different armature. So, to unparent them, you just click on Mesh, Shift click on the armature, right click, go to Parent, clear Parent and keep Transform, and now you can delete the armature. Boom. Now we're just gonna delete everything in our scene besides the character. Select him, export FBX. Path mode, copy, copy all the textures, select objects, uh, just mesh, I'm gonna call it ninja. Okay, so now we in Mixamo. Upload your character, ninja FBX, there we go. If your character already has the armature, there's no, no need to do this. Put it in place, boom, boom. I can't see what is that spot, oh, elbows. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Export our bad boy. Nice. Alright, now our character's done. We're just gonna get a T pose just so we can animate whatever kind of pose we want for him. Cause I don't think they're gonna have what I'm looking for. But you can have a look for Mixamo, y'all can see. Mixamo has a wide range of animations. Y'all can just pick through them, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, whatever. T-Pose, boom, boom. With skin, let's get with skin, you know what I'm saying? T-Pose that boy. I'm gonna save it to desktop as a ninja T-Pose. All right, save that. And now that boy's saved, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go back into Blender kind of have an idea what I want to do with this animation I want to kind of have them right like riding the chocobo kind of thing you know what I'm saying so um that's what we're gonna do so we're just gonna move this guy away get out of here boy go import import fbx find our ninja t pose sorry my camera's in front of my computer bro that's why I keep looking like that <laughs> right, we got our ninja t pose perfect look at that boy clean you know what I'm saying once again, I don't know if you can use these for like things, but if you can, you know what I'm saying, experiment, learn how they work, learn how to, like if you go on edit mode, you can see the topology, you can see how everything was done, duh, 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 and then that's how you build your own characters from there. But you can also just make mini animations with these, I think, so do your thing. So now we have our boy rigged. Let's go on to the right side, viewport display in front so we can see the bones. Wee, 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 wee. Now I'm gonna import the chocobo. Um, this one already does have the rig, so we're just gonna keep it because this is not a rigging tutorial. I'm not gonna do that right now. Chocobo, let's import that boy. Turn it. Oh, okay. Scale that boy down. I mean, I feel like he'll be too tiny to even ride like that. Like, I feel like that's. I said we can't ride a baby chocobo. Nice. Perfect. Now what we want to do is make a little running animation for our chocobo. I just want to focus on that first. So I'm just going to move him back here. I'm going to hide these two boys with H and H. Also, key. It took me like at least a year to learn this. Um, OH, I think, unhides everything that like, you've hit. So that's cool. Get the running animation for the chocobo. This part I will probably, um, what would you call it? Speed, speed through, speed paint. Not speed paint, but like speed, speed a mate. Speed a mate. I'll speed a mate it. I'll 
spat at me. I'm gonna just be through the animation process. So we go. Got a little chocobo run. Gonna go make cycle. A lot of issues. <laughs> and we're gonna bring back our boy Alt H. Nice and nice. This is where something cool comes in. We're gonna parent this armature to this armature. Keep transform. You know what I'm saying? So if we move the armature, he will stay with it. Gonna bring him up here. Gonna do some posing for him. wanted to as well you could go back here check this guy's frame so you can see what every frame is you go 1 to 14 bring the top one to 14 go back on him next one is 28 this and same thing we're gonna make it Cyclic or cyclic, whatever, whatever you call it. There is a word, jank in the beginning. That's from these two, I think. Oh no! Oh no, it's not. No, let's get rid of that one. It kind of looks a bit weird. <laughs> Hey, 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 we done it though. We done it, you know what I'm saying? Look, we got the <laughs> Oh boy. Pee -wee -wee. Just gonna add a little empty maybe we could add a curve as well. I don't I don't really mess with curves that much, bro. Like they don't really work for me. A lot of things in Blender do not work for me. Chocobo now. First frame. Control P parent to object now if we move that it will move everything because the chocobo is parent to the empty and the character is parent to the chocobo so the empty controls everything right now select on the empty insert a keyframe at one and then maybe at like 80 bring it all the way forward like that and as you can see now they are flying slow that one down just bring it like 200 you know good pace now go back to the first frame we're gonna add a camera there's our peoples you know what i'm saying there is our peoples parent the camera to the empty uh, so the camera will move with the empty and then at one the camera's there the guys up there there. Just want to add a background. This is the Ghibli add on. Uh, y'all can get that if y'all want. As you can see, we just have a long piece of grass, uh, the camera, chocobo, and a character. Now, really, you can go crazy with this. You can do as much as you want. But just to show you how you can really make a simple animation visualizer, whatever, in like 10 minutes. Now, I'm just going to pimp this out and I'll show y'all the final product so towards the end of that video my camera did die but i eventually started working a bit more on the background because i did not like it at all um i added a whole bunch of bunch of stuff trees effects um just a whole bunch of stuff really you can just create whatever you want you know there's also models resource where you can go find different environments and different assets whatever um i don't know about them remember but just have fun bro just have fun with it don't try and make the exact same thing i make just use it as a learning process anyways back to the video so the final part of the video really just consisted of getting that ps1 kind of look with a pixelation kind of effect like this um what i did was i just rendered an image and then once i had that image rendered you go to the compositing tab once you go to the compositing tab you just click use nodes and then this should pop up and then you want to add a scale, duplicate that scale, 
add a pixelate node in between those, add a value and add a math node. Connect the scale to the pixel, pixel to the scale. And on the math node, change add to divide. Connect the value to the bottom one, change the divide to one. Connect these two right here. And now on the value node, you can adjust the increase of the pixelation node by adjusting the number. So the higher the number, the more pixelated you will get. And then you end up with something like this. I kept mine around the six, seven mark. And then I just put it into the file, hit render animation, and that's how you get your pixelated animations. So as you can see at the end, we came up with something that looks kind of like this. Not too bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, really it is just on the time that you spend on it and just learn as much as you can really. If you're, if, if you're interested in it, learn as much as you can, spend time on it and you can make something like that or something even better, way better. Anyways, y'all have a good day. Peace.